crisis that we're facing here in Arizona. And it seems like we're talking about this all the time. So this week uh, we told you that Border Patrol actually sees just over a million pills at the border. This was just in the last few days. I want to direct your attention towards this tweet here. And this is where they were found. Uh, they were found strapped to somebody also in car seats and spare tires. Also, this is fentanyl powder. This was hidden inside of a speaker. So last month we also reported the tragic story of a toddler who died at a Mesa hospital after overdosing on fentanyl. Officials say that this was street grade two. Uh, Apache Junction police saying that more than five people die every day from opioid dose overdoses in our state and that the fight on their hand right now is against fentanyl. So Senator Mark Kelly says there are plans in the works right now to prevent this stuff from coming in. At those ports of entry, they do not have the the uh, the number of like x-ray machines that they could use that helps detect fentanyl in vehicles, um, cars and trucks coming across the border. In the infrastructure bill, there's the money to increase. So instead of having these things maybe in one lane, uh, as it is in Nogales right now, or even Yuma, I think, you'd be able to put the low energy x-ray machine in possibly every lane and take a look at every car. Uh, that's going to help us uh, combat this, uh, you know, this smuggling into our country. And again, the uh, photo that we just showed you was from the Nogales port of entry, too. Uh, so Senator Kelly says this is a public health issue because 100,000 Americans die every year from this opioid crisis, and he hopes that investing in this infrastructure at the border will ultimately help.